One of the first social networking sites is paying out millions of dollars to subscribers. If you signed on to classmates.com in order to connect with old school friends, you could be in line for a small payment. And we do mean small. Teresa Lalonde reports. Classmates.com was the first reunion website coming out in 1995. Initially, there was a lot of buzz. 50 million people around the world joined up to find old friends and sweethearts. The buzz didn't last. Then I realized I really don't want to be in touch with them anymore. I always kind of thought it was a scam. I, I just got... I'm not, I wasn't interested. I'd rather phone my friend. Never heard of Classmates.com. Classmates.com is structured to get people to pay. You have to sign up and pay a monthly fee to send a message to an old friend. Only a tiny percentage of users did. It's user-generated content. So the bottom line here is, uh, would you be willing to pay for content that you create? Shouldn't like they be paying you? Then classmates allegedly started lying to get people to join, sending emails saying old friends wanted to reconnect, only to find out once you've paid, those friends weren't there. Even though classmates didn't admit they've done anything wrong, they've agreed to pay a small settlement fee. For years now, people have been thinking of classmates.com as spam. So many emails. Ironically, notice of the legal settlement may have been shuffled into your junk folder. But you can go through the lengthy legal note and find out how you can get your three bucks back. The whole suit is costing classmates.com $9.5 million. The lesson? Don't promise content, then fail to deliver. Is the mentality of somebody that is out to screw you, I think. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.